How you feeling? <laughs> Like, it was about like. a three day in the hundred of gold. <laughs> well, I Looky was here. half for a reason, and Sarah wore headband for a reason because we're soaking up a little bit of magic here tonight. It's it was, all Christmasified. It's all, almost the Christmasified. Look at yeah. that. You look at the lights and the garland yeah. and the tree. I know, like, the, the big tree isn't up inside yet. But they did this overnight. It was already up yesterday, yeah. so we're a day late. We're Can you imagine late. that? But we're doing a quick night because I gotta go to bed because running far again tomorrow. And guess what? I'm going to bed early too, but I'm not running. <laughs> Just a couple of humble toy soldiers. And you probably can't make it out because it's raining and we brought the old camera, but the wreaths are out on Main Street. We'll get closer, we'll get closer. I gotta go to bed, I'm so excited. because I'm already getting crazy looks. People are already like to go on the internet today, yesterday, and be like, don't, it's not we're near Christmas, why are we celebrating Christmas? The people who go to Disney World or live here, oh, mm -hmm. Christmas coaster. Po Sarah pointed out something very smart when we first walked in here. And it's November 1st and they're just getting Christmas decorations on now. But what you don't realize is they had the first Halloween party like August 17th. That's two more weeks of Halloween celebrating in Disney World than Christmas. And I don't think that's right. I think there should be... I, I think that like this is the start of the holiday season. I still really, really, really love Thanksgiving. But they're just right. not Thanksgiving music and movies and things like that. But it's just like it's a simultaneous yeah. sibling. I agree. I was going more of the front of like Halloween versus Christmas time in Disney. Because there's two whole weeks extra of Halloween celebration, so I don't, I don't count against Disney for like literally overnight switching over to Christmas because they need to soak up as much time to celebrate the best time of the year as you can. And like Sarah said, it's a season, so like we incorporate Thanksgiving into this, as you'll see from our apartment decorations when we get those up. Wait Sarah for it. <laughs> The thing is, it's Mouseketeer Classic. You guys know I'm all about the classic. Onesie. Onesie. Hooded with hard Hooded. ears. There's, yeah. Who does that mean? For your birthday? My birthday's so far away. No, we'll get it soon, but not today. It's soon. So we're making our way over to Pirates of Caribbean. Wait, is our fast pass good still? Yeah. Okay. But we, Five minutes, but we just met one of the, uh, such a wonderful family. So Brian, Tina, and your son Trevor, thank you so much for meeting with us. We've been talking to this you guys for a couple of weeks now, and it was so nice to finally meet you. And hopefully next trip we had a crazy week, um, but hopefully next trip you guys come down, we can actually hang out, grab dinner or something. Yeah, but we thank would you for love that. thank you for stopping and giving us even like the ten minutes of your last night in Magic Kingdom. I would not be as kind. I'd be selfish, but no. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> but you guys are great. Thank you so much again. So, what is all this? I've never seen this. And I don't I don't know if I missed like a Disney Parks blog or something, but they've got snowflakes projecting all over Adventureland. What is this? What is this Christmas seasonal fun? So confused. Hoodiekins. Is that, is that it? Oh, second star of the ride straight on till morning. If you were wondering what that was in the last clip from the ride, it was me taking a bite of chocolate and ruining the shot. <laughs> Brian, Brian and Tina know as well. And no way to get to our hearts, it's cheering up. So I don't even know if I end up using our other fast passes. 
because we can't stay super late. But we're gonna go to Carousel Progress because I feel like, did I do that without you? You did that without me at that. No, you did it without me when I was in Chicago on your like crazy uh, night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we realized we haven't gone on Carousel in a while, so we're gonna go indulge ourselves. And because of it, we indulge ourselves with a premium bar and some pop popcorn. And it got really busy really quick somehow. Out of nowhere, we're the only people going this way. I feel like, you know, like when you're not sure if you're, the street you're going down is a one way or not? That's how I felt just now. I was like, Ooh, it smells so good by Columbia Harbor House. Oh, I haven't had one of these in so long. Can I have a bite? Yeah. Bonus. I just dropped a piece of chocolate. There is a glorious thing that happened today, and I'm not talking about the Christmas lights. I'm talking about majority of Prince Charming. Is it Prince Charming? Yeah, Prince Charming. Prince Charming's the Regal Carousel. Regal Carousel wow. is finally uncovered. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh, I literally feel like this went up like after Irma over a year ago. There is a myth about an attraction that Walt Disney. Oh, Sarah's interrupting my epic intro. Sorry, go ahead. Well, the people over here stopped, so that's awesome. I love when I get stuck on that. But once there was an urban myth about a ride in Disney World that Walt Disney touched with his own hands. And it was true, and it was Carousel Progress. The man who loves his dog. Alright, don't forget your seatbelts go on from left to right. <laughs> and now the voice of Gene Shepherd. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. That was the best. Oh, thing you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just sitting away. Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream. Phew, boy, hottest 4th of July we've had in years. We've come a long way, though, since the turn of the century, over 20-some-odd years ago. Well, it's another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. It's always a good icing on the cake when you go. Oh my God! Oh no! <laughs> I lost my flip flop on the. Did it break? No, it's just so slippery. <laughs> uh, it's always a good thing to follow up Carousel Progress. We can move her. Well, let's see how many pieces of Giordano candy we can eat on this people over. There's my haul. The people are the perfect vehicle for you. Let me take a plain milk truck. So keep your eyes peeled. You never know who you might see. 86% cacao, milk chocolate peppermint park, and 72% cacao. I'm all about the dark, dark, dark. I'm all about the freaking flavor. Are you feeling good? With my you took a little nap? He's quoting Halloween Town, but it's not Mama, it's Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Bum, bum. For the second time in a week, we're leaving right as the fireworks are starting. Maybe I can get Peter to stay. You want to stay with the fireworks? 
I'm taking a picture. Ah <laughs> we are listening to Mufasa. Where are you going? <laughs> so this happened. Okay, let it be known. I'm not, I'm not okay. I'm not okay with that. With Maurice's popcorn? I took his sign, but like, yeah, that's, that's, not that's, that's messed up. That's literally why he told him it was all Maybe it's not going to be the problem. Tinkerbell? Ooh, did you see her? Water pageant. <laughs> yeah, wow. Two, oh my gosh, the sky looks super spooky. Hey, Doctor Clue, we are preparing to cast on. Next ferry boat's on its way. It'll be here to practice. Perfect timing. Oh my goodness, they're closing the gates. Two, two fairies in one night. What you say to me? We got magical timing for the ferry, and right in the magical timing for the tram. The kid's been in Fortnite dancing this whole time, ever since we got on the uh, the tr uh, ferry. So, we parked in a hook, uh, no, yeah, hook, but we forgot to tell you guys, we're literally the third car from the end, and we're like all the way. It's basically like, we're basically, yeah, we're, no, that's Heroes, we're basically in Heroes parking. So we're in hook, we're 321, 328, third from the end. Run Disney, it's I'm all set up for tomorrow. I'm super jealous, guys. There's, a, there's like a finish or start or concert. So, or this something. is the wine and dine, right? Yeah, 10K? but I don't know if this is for tomorrow or if this is Sunday for the half or if it's for both. I don't know, but I'm really jealous. But it's no, but it's good. Your first run will be the dopey trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're home. We're home. We're home wins the honey pot. I drink uh, a protein shake because then we're gonna get up in seven hours and I'm gonna run. I'm waking up because I'm gonna edit because we are going to be joined by the Magic Geekdom tomorrow at our breakfast at the Brook Hearts. Yep, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Well, it's going to bed. It's only 10:30. Who are we? I think this. I think this going to bed at 11 and waking up is making us weak. It's not making us weak. Yeah, I'm getting tired now. No, but like you're. It'll be ten o'clock in the neck. Good. I do. Like I realized the yeah. other day when I was sitting at work, it was like eight o'clock, and I was like, I feel pretty good and awake. And before I wouldn't get that feeling until like ten or eleven. Yeah. Well, it's good to be home. It is good to be home. If it's good to be home. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>